Hi, it's Chris here, and here to bring you another video of Alchemy Stars. Yes, it's been a while, everyone. Um, just been busy with life, and have found it very, very difficult to try and upload. But I'm gonna be trying to do some more uploads in the next kind of couple of weeks and months. Um, so anyway, um, just kind of wanted to talk about this new mode, well, this new event, I should say, really, um, called Infernal Lair, and how. Actually, it's a really good, really, really, really fun mode, but it's really chaotic. Um, so let me just explain, for those of you who might not know, obviously during this New Year's event, you've got this um, Infernal Layer mode, and it's kind of here for two weeks. And basically there are six challenges, which are just waves of enemies, and you kind of just have to beat each one, and then that's kind of the event done. But... The really really cool thing about this is you take a team of five and they last for the whole entire kind of wave which could be about eight to ten waves or more and all your characters are max breakthrough which is actually really really fun so you can take that max breakthrough at Bethlehem or that max breakthrough um Iridon which you you know you've always wanted to have which only I guess whales only have really um, and so yeah you can just kind of go mad in it and actually the, when you actually play the mode itself I might kind of show quick just some quick things it's actually quite chaotic in its in itself as well so you kind of need to just go kind of you don't need to worry about a tactic anything about tactics you just need to worry about kind of killing killing as many things as possible as quickly as possible but yeah, one thing that's that's important with this mode actually is you definitely need to have um you need to own the characters so you can't just use you know characters you don't have. But as you can see the map's kind of really big and um I'll go into like tips later about what you can and can't should do or kind of little kind of ideas so far. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. You just need to kind of kill all the enemies and yeah just go in quickly and kill them you do get lots of little extra abilities after each wave as well so it's really kind of fun mode where you just get to kind of play in a sandbox and just kind of you know run around and kill as many as you can and see what you see what max breakthrough or war rooms kind of look like and do and i guess the really cool thing is this you know the fact that you can have more than five characters which is definitely something tour dog you need to be doing i think it's time that there's some modes where you can have five eight characters and kind of make the most of that but yeah you do get I and mean, then obviously when you beat a level you kind of can get a sort of relic just like secret territory and that's why it probably should replace secret territory or be added in next to secret territory this mode um and then you also get to level up, which kind of is really cool. So that's really kind of nice. Um, so yeah, I think what else with this mode is you've kind of got layer of rewards, which just basically achievements, but they kind of just give you points. They don't give you any sort of Jasper or rewards or remember for that. And then you can use the talent mastery to basically upgrade. So you can kind of upgrade your skills, get more health, defense, do more damage with your aurans. And so, yeah, you can kind of just kind of, oh, look at that. That's, what's that? Use, use in battle, use one battle teleports or traversable tile. So good. So then you can equip gear, essentially, and change to whichever one you want. Restore HP, convert, teleport. So good. And here on the side you unlock relics which again after each wave you might just saw like i just had that as a choice so as you unlock more relics you kind of um you kind of will potentially get a chance to unlock these in between each wave so you might have to change all your green tiles to chromatic tiles and find some insane abilities and so really that's what it is you're kind of just trying to find if you're finding like a layer encounter really difficult you should just do the same one you can do and just level up really and i'm really kind of impressed with this mode it's really it's really fun although really quite short battles are quite long but just having six kind of 
levels is kind of short and 600 new member is it's okay but again could have probably a bit done a bit more a bit more with this mode actually now in terms of chips and tricks so far or like kind of what you should do or builds you kind of can do any kind of build you want just you know it doesn't really matter so much because you get five characters initially and then randomly you might get more but what I would say is definitely characters who can hit the entire screen. So someone like um, Lakoa or someone like Swartz who can, or Brock. Characters that can hit to every enemy on the screen are really good because they just do a lot of damage and they kind of help towards killing loads of enemies all at once in one. So you can weaken them with those attacks, those active skills, and then do your chain combo all around and hit more and then they're all dead. Um, converters are really good. Um, the real converters that you should be taking are things like people like characters like Iridon or Bethlehem. That they're, they're just become insane because as you go through the way, you kind of start to generate more chromatic tiles anyway. So eventually, they don't, you don't really need converters so much. So, but having a a specific place ones kind of can help you make longer chain combos. Um, one healer is always good. Yep, you just definitely need one healer. I think it just kind of helps with because there's just loads of enemies hitting you at once, so you kind of want to at least have one. And um, snipers are also really good. So Reinhardt's obviously insane. Um, snipers that can hit multiple enemies. So people like Reinhardt, Con Connolly, um, they're they're really good just to have. But apart from that, you kind of mainly want to focus on making a mono still a mono team or maybe like a mono team with like a different elemental captain but really you can kind of just do whatever combinations you want like as long as you can survive you're, you're gonna just do lots of damage and you know you just be able to do whatever you kind of want to really um the game but but what i think about this mode is i think the potential that this mode has is probably the best thing about this mode I think this is something that, you know, we've probably been needing for a long, long time. I think, you know, a talent level, hopefully this is like a test run to put in skill upgrades for your Roarins, for your detonators, for all your different class types. Because for a long time, um, in well, since the beginning, they haven't really done much with terms of builds. Once you get a character to level 80, level 10 equipment, level 10 affinity and breakthroughs or whatever your breakthrough can they're kind of done and they kind of hit a wall you can't make hero do more damage unless you have other kind of characters that power it up or situations but you know you can't do anything before you go into battle to make them stronger and so it kind of you know leaves a wall in a way and so you just find yourself less level up characters and i think this is a really good potential way to kind of, you know, you can put this mastery skill, talent skill upgrades into the game. And, you know, you can easily make skill trees for your elements. You can make skill trees for the classes. And you can make skill trees for the factions. And so that gives you lots of different ways to kind of upgrade. And I think hopefully, you know, that will be something that Tor Dog will implement in, in the future. As well as, like you know these special cell site gear cell site gear that actually you know make this an ability that you something you can just equip in a normal battle and you can just in the corner heal some health or change a towel maybe maybe we'll probably make it like once every three or four rounds um but it'd be just a nice extra thing that you can do and i think you know those kind of things will kind of begin to make the game a bit more appealing and kind of not feel a bit stale at the moment because I know a lot of a lot of people kind of say, "Oh, the game's quite stale," and I really understand why it is at the moment. But apart from that, I think the event, yeah, the the mode is really fun. Just a lack of um, remember to go with it, and yeah. But let's just kind of go in and see. Let's try a forest team because again, it tells you who you've done it with as well, which is really nice. So you've cleared it with those. Because there are some achievements where you have to clear with a certain amount of Aurorians. 
So it's really good just to kind of a really great chance to just use a good amount of different overrides as well. And yeah, I think, you know, if there's anything that Tall Dog you need to kind of implement more, I guess, is, you know, the skill trees and the ability to upgrade. And let me just have a quick kind of run around in this, you know, use some cats that I never get to use. And oh, and also this, obviously, this double teams. I mean, that just opens up a million more kind of combinations that you can kind of get away with. Get away with a lot more shenanigans or even multiple elemental teams. Or yeah, you can kind of not be you know stuck with always having to take two or three converters and one healer and you know. You can take four converters and convert the whole field, or you can take three, four DBSs and still be able to convert. So it's you know there's some really really fun potential in this mode, and I'm looking forward to kind of hopefully seeing this mode more in the future. And with that, I will be saying bye. I will kind of probably upload um, a video of me kind of completing like a couple of these floors. But yeah, those are the main things really. And with that, I will see you later. Bye.